Hi guys, happy Monday. Welcome to another room of my house. This is my dining room area. That's my espresso machine back there with little cups and everything. Just thought I'd mix it up a little bit today. I wanna let you guys know that the district isn't expecting you to do a full six hour work day like you do at school. So they are suggesting two to three hours of learning and working. So if you guys can put in a solid two hours of learning and working each day, that would be amazing. If you find that you're speeding through those packet pages, then please look at my list of online resources. There's lots of things that you guys can do. And don't forget to continue reading every day and studying your sight words and also doing PE. All right, let's go through the packet pages for Monday. So before we do this chart, we need to read the story. The story's called Crows. I know we already read this story in class, but it's really good to reread to check for understanding. So the story is called Crows. We're gonna start on page one. It says, a crow is a big bird. Most crows are black. Crows live in many places. And then turn the page to get to page two. And it says, crows eat lots of things. They eat things they find. They may eat crops, seeds, bugs, or eggs. Crows make nests. This nest is made of sticks. The top is open. And then go back to the first page to get to page four. And it says, are crows bold? Yes, a crow takes things. It brings a shell to its nest. Crows do a lot. Now go back to the main idea page. Uh, don't forget your name and number at the top every time and it says fill in the main idea and key details chart use words from the story so the main idea is what the story is mostly about so i wrote that this story was mostly about crows and then the details are the most important things we read about so any big facts that really stood out to you i put that they eat crops seeds bugs or eggs and i want you to write two more details that you learned about crows for handwriting practice, don't forget to write your name and number, and don't forget to follow the direction they tell you to for the capital S and the lowercase s. And I want you to practice tracing all the S's and then writing them on your own, and don't forget to start at the dots. Do the same thing for capital M and lowercase m. Follow the direction they tell you. So they tell you to go down that way, down this way, up, and then down. And then for lowercase m, follow the arrows. And then practice tracing the m's and writing them yourself, starting at the dots. For math, it says, is the sentence true? Choose yes or no. 14 minus 8 equals 5. Okay, so let's check with our fingers. Let's put 14 in our heads, hold out 8 fingers, count backwards from 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, it's six, not five, so put no. And then check your work again for 16 minus seven and 17 minus nine. Count backwards with your fingers and put yes or no if it's true or not. And then for number eight, it says start at 81, count. Write the numbers through 110. Okay, so you guys should be able to do this by yourself. Write out all your numbers until you get to 110 down here. For number nine, it says draw a picture to solve the story problem. Write a number sentence, answer the questions. There are 15 squirrels. Some are brown and six are gray. How many squirrels are brown? Okay, so don't forget to circle the numbers, 15 and six, underline the question, box keywords, some is a good keyword, many is a good keyword. Okay, there are 15 squirrels. Some are brown and six are gray. So we need to do 15 minus six to find out how many are brown. So do 15 minus six, and then I want you to do a math mountain to go along with it, and don't forget to put the big number up top. And also don't forget your label. For science, I want you to read these two pages. It says, how do living things get food in a desert? You know that a desert is an environment. There are food chains in a desert. Desert plants use energy from sunlight to make food. Some insects eat the plants for food. And then the caption says, this shrub grows in the desert. Crunch, this insect eats the leaves of the desert shrub. The next page says, the lizard sees the insect. The hungry lizard eats the insect for food. 
Zap, the lizard will catch the insect. All right, now don't forget to do these checkpoint questions. What does the lizard eat for food? So you guys have some room up top to write your answers, or you can do it on another sheet of paper. And I want complete sentences. So the lizard eats, and then finish that sentence. And then number two, what might an animal in a desert eat? Okay, so tell me one thing that desert animals eat. And that's all for the packet pages today.